Hello, I'm Liz Chan. In today's show, you will learn the names of some office equipment. Fax machine. Phone. You will learn how to ask for help at work. Can you help me with this fax machine? Sure. You will also learn how to give and follow instructions on the job. First, you have to put in the paper. Next, dial the number. After that, press send. Now let's join Ying Li. Remember, she has a new job as a receptionist at the hair salon. Let's see how she's doing. Hello, Angel Hair Salon. I'd like to speak. Samantha. May I ask who's calling? This is Mrs. Jacobs. Okay, please hold. Oh no. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Oh. Hello, Angel Hair Salon. Yes, I know. You cut me off. Sorry. I want to talk to Samantha. Um, okay, please hold. Who is it? Mrs. Jacobs. Oh no, Mrs. Jacobs? I don't like talking to her, but I have to. You didn't put the call on hold? Sorry. No, she didn't. I heard everything you said, Samantha. Oh, hello, Mrs. Jacobs. And goodbye. Yingli, you have to press the hold button. But it doesn't work. Then you have to ask for help. Sorry. Ying Li is having a difficult time at her new job. Let's hope she learns how to use the phone system soon. But now, it's time to go to class. Let's join Ying Li and the other students at the adult school where they are learning English. Good evening, class. Good evening, Ms. Marcus. Class, what's this? Lana. A pencil sharpener. Yes, it's a pencil sharpener. Let's try it out. Uh-oh. The pencil sharpener doesn't work. Can anybody help me? It's broken. Oh. What do I have to do? Plug in. Aha, right, Luis, I have to plug in the sharpener. Here's the outlet. Now let's try it. It works. This is an electric pencil sharpener. Electric pencil sharpener. Repeat. Electric pencil sharpener. Do we see this in an office or a market? An, an office. office. Mm -hmm. This is an office. Shinjun, you work in an office, right? Yes. Is there an electric pencil sharpener in your office? Yes, there is. Class, now let's learn the names of other things we use in an office. Computer, fax machine, copier, pencil sharpener, shredder, phone. Let's review. Class, is this a copier or a pencil sharpener? 
It's a copier. Right, it's a copier. Jagraj, is this a computer or a fax machine? It's a fax machine. Yes, it's a fax machine. Is this a shredder or a phone? Carmen. It's a shredder. Good, it's a shredder. Now it's your turn to practice. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. Is this a shredder or a computer? It's a computer. Is this a pencil sharpener or a copier? It's a pencil sharpener. Is this a copier or a shredder? It's a copier. Good work. Now you know the names of some office equipment. It doesn't shred. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. It doesn't work. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. It doesn't print. Put in the paper. Put in the paper. Put in the paper. It doesn't fax. Dial the number. Dial the number. Dial the number. So, Ying Li, how's your new job coming along? Not good. Really? What's wrong? I don't understand the phone, all the buttons. Remember, you can ask for help at work. For example, you ask, Can you help me? Ying Li, you can ask, Can you help me with the phone? Try repeating it. Can you help me with the phone? Good. Can you help me with the phone? Class, repeat. Can, Can you, you help, help me with, with the phone? phone? Good. Now let's watch some people at work asking for help. Can you help me with this fax machine? Sure. First, you have to put in the paper. Next, dial the number. After that, press send. Great, I can do that. The copier's broken. Lacey, can you help me with the copier? I think it's broken. It's not broken. First, you have to turn it on. Next, you have to put the original here. After that, press copy. Oh, I forgot to turn on the machine. And here's your copy. Thank you. Excuse me, 
How do I use this? It's easy. Put the paper here. That is easy. <laughs> hey guys, did anyone lose a hundred dollar bill? I found it on the ground over there. And I don't know. Oh, oh no. Turn off the machine. How? I don't know. Oh. Well, I'm glad it wasn't my money. Hey, there was a hundred dollar bill in my wallet. I can't find it. This is a small copier. I need a volunteer to come up here and practice some English. Lynn, come on up here. Okay, you want to make a copy. You don't know how to use the copier. Ask me for help. Mm, can you help me? Good. Or you can say, can you help me with this copier? Can you help me with this copier? Very good. Ready? Yes. First, turn on the copier. Good. Next, put the original here. After that, press copy. Very good. It's working. Here it comes. Good work. <laughs> now I need another volunteer. Roberto, please come and help us. Right over here. I'm going to turn the copier off. Now, Roberto, using these words, first, next, and after that, can you give instructions to Lynn? I think so. Okay, Lynn, ask for help. Can you help me with this copier? Uh, yes. Uh, first, turn on the copier. Next, uh, Put the original here. Uh, next, put the original here. After that, press copy. Excellent. It's working again. Here it comes. Yay. <laughs> Very good, Roberto and Lynn. You can keep that. Yes. Students learned a lot in class today. I wonder if Ying Li is still having a difficult time with the phones at work. Let's join her and see. Hi, Ying Li. Hi, Samantha. Samantha. Yes. Can you show me how to use the phone? Sure, no problem. When the phone rings, first you pick up the receiver. Next, you press the line button. After that, you speak into it. Got it? Okay. It's a little difficult, but I think I understand. Thank you. Sure. Anytime you have a question, just ask, okay? Okay. In your hair salon, may I help you? I'd like to speak with Samantha. It's Mrs. Jacobs. One moment, please. I'll transfer you. This is Samantha. Samantha, Mrs. Jacobs is on the phone. Oh, put her through, please. Yes. <laughs> this is easy. I can do this. It looks like Ying Li is doing a great job as a receptionist now. In today's lesson, you learned the names of office equipment. Computer. Fax machine. You learned how to ask for help at work. Can you help me with this copier? You also learned how to give and follow instructions on the job. 
First, turn on the copier. Now, let's join Celia at the cafe. She's with her daughter, Lorena, and her friends, Mrs. Garcia and Mr. Wiggins. I have a surprise. I like surprises. I me too. Good, because <laughs> the surprise is for you, Pilar. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you two are getting married? Yeah. <laughs> and after that, we'll move to Florida. Florida? Yes. Well, my children are there. Mommy, are we moving to Florida? No, sweetheart. Mr. Wiggins and Mrs. Garcia are moving to Florida. Um, we live here. But Celia... Oh, this is a very happy day. Don't worry. I miss you, Mrs. Garcia. My sweetheart, I'm gonna miss you too. Wow, Mrs. Garcia and Mr. Wiggins are getting married. That's great. But now Celia and Lorena will have to look for a new home soon. We'll see what happens in our next show. Welcome to the practice video for episode 16. Turn to page three of your workbook. It looks like this. Listen to the names of office equipment, then unscramble each word. Number one, phone. P, H, O, N, E. Phone. Number two, computer. C, O, M, P, U, T, E, R. Computer. Number three, shredder. S, H, R, E, D, D, E, R. Shredder. Number four, pencil sharpener. P, E, N, C, I, L, S, H, A, R, P, E, N, E, R, pencil sharpener. Number five, copier. C, O, P, I, E, R, copier. Number six, fax machine. F, A, X, M, A, C, H, I, N, E. Fax machine. Good work. Now watch, listen, and repeat. Shred this paper. Open that file cabinet. Print this document. Fax that page. Copy 
copy this picture. Answer that phone. Hello? Now let's practice have to and has to. I have to, you have to, they have to, we have to. He has to, she has to, it has to. Richard wants to make a copy. What does he have to do? He has to press copy. Debbie wants to send a fax. What does she have to do? She has to dial the number. They want to print the document. What do they have to do? They have to put in the paper. Now let's watch a conversation. Listen for the words first, next, and after that. Can you help me with this printer? First, turn it on. Next, put in the paper. After that, press print. Thank you. Now I want you to help Debbie. Practice the same conversation using the words first, next, and after that. Can you help me with this printer? Great. Let's watch another one. Could you help me with this copier? First, turn it on. Next, put the original on the glass. After that, press copy. Once again, I want you to practice the conversation with Debbie. Can you help me with this copier? Thank you. Great work, everyone. Keep practicing your English, and I'll see you next time.